Have you ever wanted to connect your keyboard into your DAW, but you just didn't know where to start? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to connect your keyboard to your computer and set up your DAW so that you can start recording. Now, recording your digital keyboard can be a little bit of an issue when you're connecting that to your DAW. This isn't just a MIDI controller. It's an actual keyboard that I'm gonna turn into a MIDI controller. And I haven't set this up since moving into this new studio, so I thought I would go over that with you because it's kind of hard to find information online on how to connect everything step-by-step -step if you don't have just a regular plug and play MIDI controller. So if you have one or you come across an old keyboard and you want to start using it again and use it as a MIDI controller, then this video is for you. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is to make sure that if you have any sort of software or MIDI drivers to your keyboard, then go ahead, download those now. I've, I'm using a Yamaha, so I've just went to the Yamaha website and looked up their downloads just to make sure I've got those drivers so that my computer is going to be able to recognize the keyboard. So make sure you do that first. All right, so now we've moved over here to the keyboard and I wanna walk you through a couple of things. Now, if you don't have this style of Yamaha or you don't even have a Yamaha, that's okay. A lot of these have the same type of functions and this is going to be very similar to pretty much all of them. So the first thing that you'll want to do is I want to make sure that I'm in the utility tab here. And I know on mine it is better if I'm in the voice or performance mode first, but then I'll go to the utility and I'll hit that. And then this is the screen where you're going to see everything, right? And all of these buttons down here help you navigate through each of these tabs get make sure we're focused on that so for me f5 is going to be the midi tab and that's where we want to start so i'm going to start first here on let's just start here in other if if we was in a different top tab like sync we'll come back to that but that's how you navigate through those so i'm going to go back to the uh let's see that's f sf7 or sf4 here that's going to give us the other tab so this is very important. This is MIDI in out. I want to make sure that that says USB because I'm connected to my computer to host here with a USB cord that's going all the way to my computer. So I need to make sure that my MIDI in out is a USB and everything else here can stay the same. So next I want to go to sync here. So that's just the next button over to give me that tab. So for the MIDI sync, I want that to say MIDI. And I want the clock out on and this sequence control for in and out. Now, if yours doesn't say what we want it to say, then you'll just scroll through until it does. So there's a couple of different options here that you can get. But with, for this one, we need this to be on MIDI. Again, we can go back to the other tab. And if this didn't say USB, then I can just scroll through, and make sure that I'm on USB. And that's really all you have to do here. Um, just make sure that the MIDI control is set to USB and you are pretty much set. Now we're gonna head back over to the DAW and set that up in there. Okay, so now we're back. I am in Luna today, and Luna really makes this work very simply. Like, you don't even have to do really anything else except for set your audio tracks up. So that's what I've done. I've created an instrument track, and the instrument for today is going to be Easy Keys. And I've gone ahead and record enabled that so that I can hear back some things. And all we have to do is now... And that was all I had to do. 
And that's pretty much it for Luna. Like, you don't even have to go up into the settings and configure a MIDI controller or anything like that. But, um, so I really like using Luna when it comes to recording instruments, like digital instruments, virtual instruments, things like that, because it's all set up for you here. All you have to do is make sure that you set up an instrument track, pick the software that you want to use, and you can easily switch back and forth too. So like if I want to go to Easy Drummer now, like there we go, so that you can hear it. Yeah, so then all we have to do is hit record, play a little bit. You know, something like that. And you've got uh, your MIDI recorded here now. All right, there you go. Those are the simple steps that you can take to connect your keyboard to your DAW. You don't even have to go out and buy a new MIDI controller. So if you've got one laying around, maybe you found one at a garage sale or your local music store, maybe you got one used on a good price, then go ahead, get you a USB cord, whichever one connects with the keyboard to your computer. I just got one off of Amazon. I ordered an extra long, I'm gonna have to get an even longer one because now I've just got this one all the way across the room instead of behind everything. But simple as that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. All right, y'all, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.